two years ago, my 2008 MacBook Pro looked like this. Today, it looks like this. Let's see how I did it. The 2007-2008 MacBook Pro was a very popular laptop, with millions of each variant being sold across the US and the world. However, almost every single one of them is a ticking time bomb. The laptops almost all suffer from a crippling graphics defect that completely destroys the computer. The laptops almost all suffer from a crippling graphics card defect that causes the GPU to fail, essentially bricking the computer. To deal with the issue, Apple launched a GPU replacement program. However, this ended in 2014, so currently there is no way to repair your GPU in these computers. To make matters even worse, there are many misconceptions about this issue and why it is caused. Many people incorrectly believe that the failure is due to the soldering with which the GPU is attached to the logic board. They claim that the soldering melts at a very low temperature, a temperature that is reached when the computer is under load. This therefore causes the soldering to melt, detaching the chip from the logic board. They say that in order to fix the issue, you must remove the graphics card and then reattach it with a more robust soldering. This, however, is very difficult, very expensive, and doesn't solve the problem. The actual cause of the graphics card failure is the paste with which the GPU die is attached to the PCB chip, which is very brittle and occasionally does not connect properly. So, how do we fix this issue? Well, if that little bit of narration had you thinking that I was about to come out here and say, oh, well, we need to take the GPU die off and then reattach it, think again. And while it is possible to buy on eBay logic boards that have been repaired uh, by the Apple program to a revised version of the chip with better paste, I do not have the skills to pull that off, to pull out a logic board swap on these laptops. So the method I'm going to show you is actually very simple. Basically, what we want to do is heat shock the GPU die, which for whatever reason causes the computer to start working again. To accomplish this, all you need is a defective computer that will not boot. This is very important. If your computer can still boot up, it is probable that you will not have success with this method. Basically, when the computer glitches on startup, it gets stuck in a boot loop and kernel panics. We want to take advantage of that because the cooling system won't be fully functional. Let's start by removing the battery with the computer off. The computer will be getting very, very hot, so we don't want the battery to melt. Next, what we'll do is plug in the computer so it can keep running for a while, and open it up. Then we're going to press the power button to turn it on and start the boot loop. We're going to wrap the bottom of the laptop in a thick blanket or quilt and place it on a chair upside down. Next, we want to leave the computer in this position for about an hour so that it can cook. After an hour, we'll return to take our apple pastry out of its oven. Then we'll place it on an elevated table to cool down. Once cool, the computer should be able to start up. So as you can see, this method is very simple, but I should also point out that it is temporary. We are not actually altering the state of the GPU, which means that it is susceptible to this issue at any moment. However, I have found in my experience that as long as you're careful and don't do anything too crazy with this computer, you should be fine. Basically, we want to avoid heat shocking the computer back into breaking again. So what I like to do is install a fan control app that'll keep the temperatures under control. I should also point out that while I said this is temporary, I have been using this computer for about two years after doing this method, and so far it has been completely functional through multiple OS upgrades. If you have a broken 2008 MacBook Pro and you try this method and it works, let me know down in the comment below. If it doesn't work, let me know what you did and I'll see if I can help figure out what went wrong when you tried this method. So as usual, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like if you liked it, or leave a dislike if you really think it's that soldering, those, th those soldering balls, they'll get you. And I will see you guys in the next video.